Hi, I'm Noel Julian, welcome to Take the Road, and the final part in our four-part detailing product review series with Turtle Wax Products and uh, Halfords UK. Now, just to recap quickly, part one we detailed the wheels on my Bertone X19, we tried out the interior cockpit refresh spray, and we also tested the leather cleaner. So the last one to test is the appropriately named Black in a Flash. Yeah, that's a good name. Well done to the marketing guys there. Now, this particular product is for making sure the plastic and rubber trim on the outside of the cars are protected, clean, and not grey. It's a clear formula for all colours and exterior plastics. Uh, it's got a rich blend of silicones and waxes that bring faded plastics back to their original condition. And the thick non-drip gel lasts for months. So if any of you have owned a car with plastic rubber bumpers that are exposed and not painted, you'll know if they spend any time in the sun, they turn grey, which is really, really, really frustrating. Thankfully, on my Berton X19 here, the bumpers are actually pretty good. Um, it has spent time out in the weather. Um, previous owner that had it before me didn't have a garage, so the car spent all of his time parked outside in the street hail, rain or shine. Um, despite that, the bumpers were actually pretty good, which is a good thing. So what I'm going to do basically now is just test this on a couple of the rubber areas of the X19 and see how it performs. The instructions with the black in a flash is basically ensure the surfaces are clean and dry, shake the bottle well and pour a small amount onto the cloth. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, the instructions say you can use a soft cloth or you can use a sponge. I'm just going to use a cloth for this particular test. So you apply it on in a circular motion, rubbing it in to the exterior plastic. And work it in like so. <clears throat> it is a bit of a pain with these bumpers because this bit here is aluminium so it's always a more complicated process when you're trying to detail and clean these bumpers especially apply a product like this you have to keep it off the aluminium because basically you don't want it on there so so the instructions say now to leave it for three to five minutes and then to wipe off with a cloth after it so we'll do that in a second We've waited the required three to five minutes and so now I just need to rub <coughs> the excess with a clean cloth and see how it goes. Now already I can see that there's a slight difference in the drying of the material Now obviously these plastics are old. I mean the car was built in 1988 so this stuff isn't brand new. Um, so there's going to be, I assume, a different rate of absorption on the panels. But as long as it gives a bit of a shine, that's the main thing. As you can see, there was a bit of a shine in the bumper here now. It was a little bit dull before. But as we come up along the bumper itself, it's still a little bit on the grey side so it might need a couple more goes with the black in the flash the other thing to take into account is the fact that this piece of rubber slash plastic is on the top of the bumper so it's going to get the sun more than other parts of the bumper <clears throat> so you can see the difference between the two so what do I think of the turtle wax black in the flash I think it's done okay I mean the difficulty with something like this you know trying to revive and restore old rubberized plastic black bumpers from the 1980s there's so many different factors you've got to think about you've got to think about how clean the bumpers have been kept in their past life, how many times a product like this has been used on them in their past life. 
how long it's spent out in the sun and as we all know plastics over time degrade and they go grey and they lose that black intensity so <clears throat> overall I think for something like this it's a challenge to get the bumpers back to as new condition that's not going to happen it's an old car it was built in 1988 it's not concourse it's not perfect so you're not going to get a brand new shiny right out of the factory finish on your bumpers but what it will do is it will protect the bumpers it will put a bit of a shine in there and I think probably the best thing to do with this is to use it a couple of times because after all the product is going to get absorbed into the rubber into the plastic and I think long term the more you use it the better chance you have of keeping the color in there maybe reviving it a bit more who knows so yeah I think with this one try it yourself and see how you get on um, that's the best thing to do really so yeah if you do try it let us know It'd be good to see how other people get on with something like this and you know for us classic car owners it's always great to try out new products and see what works with our cars so thanks a lot for watching take the road's first ever product test series yay uh, hope you've enjoyed it hope it's been informative and a bit helpful and um, yeah if you got any comments feedback let us know just type away there in the comment section um, appreciate it for any feedback you've got uh, hopefully going to be doing a few more product reviews up and down add a bit of variety to the YouTube channel all good so thanks for watching stay tuned for more car updates got a few cool films coming up in the interviews really looking forward to releasing those in the next few months and uh, don't forget subscribe to our YouTube channel check us out on Facebook Twitter and Instagram as well and don't forget the website www.takethroad.co.uk Thanks a lot and have a good time with your classic cars.